So I started recording how much money I was making on the blog in January, 2017. And that was when I made, I think I made $700. And then by December, 2018, I had, I was making seven or $8,000 a month. And after 24 income reports, I decided that I wasn't going to publish anymore. It was exciting. And I had a lot of fellow bloggers cheering me on as we were learning and building together. And I was writing all these different experiments that I was doing every single month. But one, a lot of people don't realize how much work it takes to put together these income reports. If you make money on your blog and you are successful, then you're pulling funds every month from probably 10 or 11 different affiliate third-party networks. And then you're having to add all that up every month. And it's, it becomes like a not a value add for you anymore. And given that I already had 24 income reports that I could send to people and uh, direct new people to, and given that the majority of people they're just starting out. They're not getting from 8,000 to 30,000. They're not there. They're trying to get from 200 or zero to 2,000 and they'll be happy. I felt that I was no longer serving my audience anymore by continuing to publish numbers that they seemed create out there. And also the work that it went into it for me was not worth it. So now I keep my own records for my taxes and my own accountability, but it's not something that I regularly publish anymore. The way I got my start was uh, Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. Are you a listener or anything? Of Oh, long time listener. My husband and I used to listen to him all the time. Yeah. And I would get my wife to listen and she's like, I don't know about this guy, but I'm like, yeah, no, he's good. He's a good guy. So yeah, I remember when I first started looking at his income reports, I was like really amazed. And then it was getting into like 40, 50, 100K per month. And I'm like, this is bananas. This guy's making like millions of dollars per year. Like I, I cannot relate anymore. So totally understand where you're coming from on that. Did you get any pushback from actually publishing the reports um, for maybe family or friends or anything like that? The reports actually weren't the biggest problem with family or friends. Being in the personal finance niche was the problem. Um, and, you know, no one ever, there was just some awkwardness because I was writing about how to save money on my wedding and how to save money on engagements and bachelorettes and things. Yet I was getting invited to other friends' weddings and other friends' bachelorette parties. And even my most, one of my most popular posts, organically popular, has been how I save money on my engagement ring. My husband and I did not choose a diamond. We chose a moissanite, which is like a lab-created stone. It's becoming very popular right now for people who are kind of in this community and don't want a diamond for all the reasons that a lot of people don't want them. But for all of my friends, like my girlfriends, they even though I never said like I was judging them or anything, hearing that I was making these choices started to make them, I think, kind of question their own choices. And then it got a little bit awkward. Uh, but now everyone is super supportive. And I've also backed away from writing about some of the more controversial things because I value my friends more than my blog.